hello friends welcome again and this is my new project grocery store billing system and i have developed this project in php and mysql the version for the php i'm using the php version 7 and mysql version is 5.6 for front-end development i have used html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like for form validations integration of the date calendar creating sliders integration of the drop down menus i have used the jquery plugins right so this all technology stacks I have used for developing this project. The title is Closely Store Billing System. So this is the mini project developed in PHP and MySQL and it's a web based DBMS project also. DBMS project because we are performing database operations in this project. We are performing create, read, update and delete from this project. Right. So Let's start with the functionality, go through that what we have implemented in this project. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a home page and this is a static home page. I'm not saving the value means we are not rendering any type of uh, content from the database here on the home page. Right. So this is the about project. This is also a static page. This is a login from where admin can log in and admin can perform operations. This is a single role based system single role means it has only and only admin functionalities there is no user or customer functionality only admin is here because we have developed it for a grocery store it's not online grocery it's a grocery shop management a grocery store billing system this is a contact us page and it's a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page okay so now i am going to log in as an admin so this is the admin and test right so this is the dashboard from here you can perform the operations right so this is the home page i already explained you this is about project this is a dashboard from here you can add the product so you, this is the add product form from here you need to enter the barcode stock name type price item description so you can add these fields here right for adding the product this is add sales from here you can add the sales right so this is a customer name so enter the customer name and then the customer mobile number once you click on the continue billing then you will get this dashboard here you need to select the grocery item and that item will be added into the cart right so you can see the items are getting added into the cart right after that if you want to change the quantity just select and that quantity will be changed and the cost will be calculated automatically so you can see the costs are calculating automatically right once you complete the final billing right so click on the save and print once you click on the save and print this whole information will be saved into the database and you can access this later also so once you click on the save and billing you can see this is a reset once you click on the print then this will be printed from your task printer right so this is the ad product which i already explained you this is the ad cells this is a report this is a product report from where you can see all of the product report you can edit and update the details also right this is the sales report all of the sales which you have made will be displayed here once you click on the view details you will be able to see the details of that sales so this is my lost order which i had placed and it's coming here right this is a change password from where you can update your account password and log out once you click on the logout then above administration menu will not be displayed so log out then you can see administration menu is not displaying but if you log in then administration menu is displaying okay log out so these all functionalities I have developed inside this project grocery store billing system as i told you earlier this is a php and mysql web-based mini dbms project if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much